This is a Blender 2.68 tutorial. We are continuing modifying the lighthouse, so this is more mesh editing. We will want to open up the lighthouse file. We need to put it in object mode, and we need to deselect the lighthouse. Before adding a cube, let's rename this by double clicking on it to lighthouse. Now we'll deselect it again. Now we're ready to add a cube. This cube will be used to make windows and doors. Let's move this out of the way. And we need to change the size. We'll make it 0.4 meters. We can manually set the height. And we take a quick look and we can see that it is intersecting the lighthouse. So now we're selecting this lighthouse. We want to make our window a little bit wider so we can see our tools. We want to click on the modifier tool. And we want the boolean operation. We want to choose difference. That will remove the cube from the lighthouse. And we apply. This won't take effect until you apply it. Select the cube again, move it to the other side of the lighthouse. Select the lighthouse again. Select Boolean, difference again, cube again, and apply. And select the cube, move it out of the way briefly, hit Z, and we can see that the windows are added. Now before we add the door we need to make it taller. Let's lower the door, we'll move it in, we'll adjust this to number turn off turn on wireframe and just for effect I'm going to put this down to 0.75 you can see that the door is below the ground and the door is or the cube is not intersecting a face on the lighthouse uh, the bottom there is no face. It's just clear. So when we try to add select lighthouse, so when we try to add a modifier boolean and select the cube and difference, the lighthouse disappears. That's because the cube needs to intersect with a face on the lighthouse. So we just do undo Select the cube, move it up to say 1.1, and now we can see that it's actually intersecting the face. And that makes it a little clearer. Okay, and let's pan back out, spin around. And now we can add the modifier. Oops. We'll select the lighthouse first and then apply the modifier. And we'll move the cube out of the way. Go back to render mode and see that we have a door. Okay, you don't need to just use 
cubes, deselect everything. We could add a sphere. Let's make the sphere smaller, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. I just use tab to move between fields. And let's move the sphere to the side. Move it up. Uh, let's put a hard coded number here, three. And let's move it in a little bit. There. Minus 3.5. And the reason why I'm using numbers is to help make the lighthouse look more, more symmetrical when we're putting in these windows and doors. And add modifier difference. And this time we're selecting the sphere. And apply. And select the sphere, and we can rapidly and symmetrically put another window on the other side by putting 3.5. Select the lighthouse, add modifier, Boolean, difference, and sphere. And apply. And we're done. Let's just move the sphere out of the way. And go back to render mode. And you see a nice sphere window. Now it looks a little bit weird. You probably want to do Oops, select the lighthouse. And choose smooth shading. There we go. Now, the sphere window looks a little strange because the normals are messed up, but that's for another lesson. And again, for the normals, they're messed up for the windows too. That's why you see strange shadows and lines. But that's it for this lesson.